Okay, so I apologize for not videoing this part, but um, you know, so here's my tool I made, and basically those just broke off. Uh, we broke one completely off, trying, and it stripped out the caps a little bit, um, as I'll show you in there. So I went online and bought the actual tool that you're supposed to get. This is probably the one that had quite a few reviews and was pretty good because it's got three points and it's got different sizes of screw heads in here for the tips. So I guess it'll fit different motors and things. It's only like 38 bucks. I'll try to leave a link for you. But anyway, so we got that, tapped it down in there and then it still popped out of there once. So we just stopped before we really stripped it out. Phil went in and looked and um, found this little trick online. Quite a few people have done it this way, so you might have already seen it, but basically you put this over, so you have your trim rod sticking out, and you'll put this over there once you get your tool tapped in. Put it in there on the three holes, then you put that over the rod, and then you bring your motor down and rest it on here to hold this in the holes so they get the full grab. And then he just, uh, we had a breaker bar, a little bit of a this one was really hard he had to really pull on it um this one he didn't it just a pretty good yank and they broke free seemed to work on both of them just perfectly so if you can't get them off or maybe even just jump straight to this that way you don't mess up your heads uh the caps and strip them at all you know get that little twisty um, it'll still be reusable and i'm gonna use them but um try that get those in the holes put it over your trim rod bring the motor down on it and then use a breaker bar and break them free. After that, you can take it off and do them by hand. Let me take you over to the bench and we'll show you how to get these trim tabs out or these uh, seals out. Okay, so with any DIY job, if you haven't done a hundred of these and have everything memorized and whatnot, um, yes, it's very simple. It's just a few seals or whatever, but stay organized. That's the best thing. I don't take this one apart until I've done with one that way. For some reason, you know, I go in or whatever and have a reference, then I'll always come back and have something to look at. Um, I also just lay my stuff out in order. Um, this is the 115 uh, Yamaha 115 trim, and it's a little bit different than the others. The others, um, the 150 and the 200 and all that, seem to have one uh, one seal that goes in the top, and you just uh, you know make it flush, bottom it out, and then put your clip back in. Uh, this one's a little bit different, a little bit harder. Because you have this inner seal in there that actually is the the working seal. And you got to, I guess, just pinch it and finagle it in there somehow. So I've had it soaking a little bit just to get it a little bit uh, looser. And then I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get it in, but we're going to try. So uh, you are going to want to just pinch it in half, I guess, and get it down in there. Now, first of all, I cleaned this one all out, got it all off of there. And then somehow you got to pinch them in there and put it in, but this is going to be a work in progress. Oh yeah, see you got to pinch it down and out. Well, that's going to be a pain in the butt. But somehow you're going to have to get it hmm, into that groove as you pinch down. You're going to want it to go in there. Well, that's gonna be fun. Or somebody had a PVC trick for that. Ooh, a couple of can get away. Well, maybe putting the oil on it wasn't a smart thing. Now it's all slippery. Okay, I don't know how to do that. We're gonna figure it out though. And go do some research. Alright, as you can see, we got the first one on. We'll just let them soak in some oil for a little bit. And then, since we don't have one of those seal tools, I guess the little three things that pinch it into that little shape, really, it's not going to work on this small of a, a rod anyway. Philip was able to just kind of get it in there. If you can just get it caught in the groove when you're pushing down, then you can kind of work it around and get it in there, just putting it on the table and pushing like heck. Uh, the last little bit, we did have to take something blunt, so we just took the front of these um, needle nose pliers and work that last little bit down. Once you get it all in there, then you can just push it down and then it snaps into that hole pretty good. Um, it is a little bit of a chore, but uh, I wouldn't, you might try one of those tools if you can find one small enough, but since the, here I'll use the old one here, you know, by the time you pinch it there, 
in the center and try to fold that kidney shape with one of them tools, it just just don't really work, you know. So uh, they might make one that's small enough, but as with anything, a little bit of elbow grease and you can get it in there. It just takes uh, some time, and like I said, you, you know, we were just working at it and. He got it started in the lip. I think he went from the top, actually. We tried from the bottom a couple times and that didn't seem to work. I'm gonna try from the top or from the bottom this next time anyway, uh, because it is, you don't have two lips to work from. It's nice and smooth. So if you can just get it caught first, then you can slide it down on there. Just remember to make sure you got it facing the right direction. Um, but whatever works for you, you know, you can try the top or the bottom and, and just work it in there. But you know, you gotta get one side in that groove first because you know you can get it skinny you know like this and then get it to <clears throat> to work in there you know you just got to catch it on one one groove there so that you can start working it around all right i'm gonna clean this one up and do the same thing all right as you can see see i got it started there and you got it in the lip there and then you can just start working your way down um, use something blunt so you don't pinch it or cut it you don't want to use your pick and then just Try to get it in there. It's just some, this is gonna be the old work it with your fingers. And then you get it past that lip, then you can just push it in the rest of the way. It's gonna be right there, see? Where it went in there. Just work it down a little bit more, then it snaps in. Feel it, bro. Make sure you didn't cut it or anything. But this is pretty stiff. I think that makes one of the things that's making it hard to do is it is a pretty stiff um, seal. So it's probably a little bit hard to kind of burr it and, and, and break it or cut it. But it's in there. And then you just, you know, put your dust one up in the top or your wiper or whatever it's called. That's what my son said it was called. Get that one in there. These are the old ones on here. Like I said, I leave one together so that I know how it went. Over the top, there we go. That one on bottom. Our new O-ring on, oh, that must be the big one for the outside. That one goes on here. Okay. And then this one goes on the outside. Cap, and then and make sure that's the way they go down. All right. Yeah, now it's time to take them out. Well, I got to get all the old fluid out. Now's when the little um, the grinder tool would probably work for tightening this up real quick until you got to the last little bit. And that one bottomed out. All right, so once they bottom out, just give them a little snug. That's good. fun part of bleeding it but it's time to head to church and I need more fluid so we'll bleed it tomorrow so sorry about that as with everything in life some things don't go as planned um, I didn't get to film anything else because we kind of rushed Phil wanted to take the boat out so he took it down to the coast was going to uh, use it down there and then found an issue with the fuel pump so he brought it home, long story short, got a new battery for it, fixed the fuel pump, and then he ended up going to Canyon Lake for a couple days and using it. So um, got it all put back together, bled it the next day, and got that thing, you know, got it running so he could take off. But, um, you know, works great now, no problems. Goes up and down, and uh, just another simple job done around here, finally getting some chores done. As always, we thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.